Hello, everybody. It's Diamond Kitty Gaming, and uh, hello to Twitch and um, uh, Twitch and uh, YouTube as well. Um, today we're playing Hearts of Iron 4. Basically, I'm only recording this on YouTube so that I can like post it as an after stream thing, so that I don't lose this. But yeah, this is mostly supposed to be a Twitch thing, so it might be long. I don't know. But basically, what we're gonna be doing is oh. <laughs> I forgot to change the stream title. Great. Uh, one one moment, guys. Um, okay, as I was saying before, I got messed up uh, with not knowing how the uh, with not realizing that I uh, forgot to change my stream name. Also, uh, my mom's playing Minecraft in the background. I don't think you should hear anything, but in case you do. Uh, Today we are putting Edward VIII in power as the United Kingdom, and we are probably going to do some conquesting. I finally learned how to uh, do a naval supremacy, so I can do naval invasions now. So Canada's first. Canada, Canada's so basically when you do Edward VIII and you change. Um, I think I'm going to play Recruit as well, just because uh, it's going to be a little bit tougher. I like to play Recruit when I'm going a little bit more easy. Obviously, I play Normal when I'm doing, like, an Iron Man achievement game mode. I... The... the heck are you doing dancing to Minecraft? Both of you guys. <laughs> I swear if I had my camera uh, set up, you would you would have gone right on camera. I would have got it on camera. Anyways, so basically what's going to happen is... I, I tried to do this before, but I'd never gone really through with it. Basically what's going to happen is I am going to uh, use a change in course um, and empower the King's Party. I'm going to empower Edward VIII. And once Edward VIII's in power, the Dominions are going to break with the crown for his marrying of Wallace Simpson. Which is why I put history in like the tags of this stream. Because, uh, not only is this kind of, you know, mostly history stuff in Arts of Iron 4, I also know a lot about Edward VIII, uh, in general, so that's why I chose this one. Basically, Canada's gonna break with the crown because Edward VIII is gonna try and marry an American, which the British Commonwealth and Britain themselves, uh, do not, um, enjoy, but we don't care. We're gonna put him in power anyways. We're going to start limited rearmament. Arm, 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 arm. <laughs> All right, here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna start a this and this. Oh, is that a cake? Mm. 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 The cake. Hmm. I always need cake. We're also going to um, reevaluate the British Navy, so we're going to be um, redoing that. Of course, the the uh, the villagers in Minecraft have decided collectively to hold a town hall meeting right next to you. I know. I hear them. That's crazy, isn't it? Town hall meeting. Here. Okay, so first we're going to use two convoys. We're going to put, um, we're going to put some submarines in processing. Um, a heavy ship hull is always, um, a good thing to use. Um, cruisers are great to have, so we're going to put three towards that as well. Um, let's do another cruiser, this time a Leander class, and, uh, put it towards that as well. 
Cool, cool. Uh, what else should we do? I think I'm going to... Let's say... Improve... Um, submarine production. Because if we can improve submarine production... Then we uh, then we get a lot of ships fast, and getting a lot of ships fast is gonna be great because we definitely need a lot of ships for the um, plans that we're going to be executing soon. I also need to withdraw from the and na na the naval treaties real soon because uh, I, I I I can't need I don't need I can't have I can't have that. Okay. Yes, we're also playing with a bunch of different, um, ahem, multiple different capital, di multiple different mods, uh, mostly improving stuff like, um, De Denmark, and, uh, oh wait, no, the Netherlands already has a thing. Mostly improving, like, Denmark, uh, Belgium. Belgium's got a okay focus tree. Um... The other thing, though, Albania gets a focus tree that's pretty good. Pretty good. It's uh, there's got a little bit of me uh, memes in there, but I mean, it's it's a pretty it's a pretty solid focus tree. The thing is, though, Albania's focus tree is so massive. Like, Albania's focus tree outdoes the current um the 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 in development soviet focus tree that uh is being developed right now to revamp the current soviet focus tree and i just feel like if a player in the hearts of iron 4 community can do better at making a, a bigger focus tree than the developers of the game can that's a serious like uh red red flag to me about i think the developers should probably increase Increase their own productivity. <laughs> I, uh, and yeah, a lot of people are with me on that, I'll tell you that. Everybody's like, what? Russia doesn't get a demo democracy route? I mean, yeah, again, if this, this is a player made focus tree and it's bigger than a developer made one, I mean, that, that, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> it just doesn't sit right. Anyways, uh, I think we're finally in ready to. Oh, wait, I can, uh, Recruitable, 702. Oh, okay. Um, how many ma how much manpower does a colonial garrison need? Okay, I should be able to have a, a good, at least a good amount, um, uh, for now. Oh, yes, and they need to organize all these troops as well, because, uh... Darn. <laughs> These guys are just not in any sort of um, good placements here. Uh, this one goes here, that one goes there, that one also goes there, this one here. Um, there, there. There. Uh, this guy to Scapa flow as well. Great. Okay, that should be okay and organized and well done. Okay. Yep. That should be. Uh, we don't have to assign any divisions. Uh, as 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 of currently. Uh. Let's let's make MI6 though. <laughs> uh, so let's do that. And now we begin our research before we begin starting this. And let's -a go. We've now entered the game properly, setting up everything first. Cool. Ooh, that's interesting. Belgium is doing a popular front. Uh, that that is very interesting. That's another mod that we have, right? But Belgium does popular 
Belgium does not do popular front a lot. Oh wait, no, right, they do. They're gonna go unity through democracy. I uh, did not realize uh, what that meant, I suppose. Still not great in my political terms. I uh, understand it all, but I can't under but I can't I'm still not good on the um, terms. So this is the HMS hood, right? Yeah, that's the hood. Oh, King George V has died. This is horrible. It's what normally happens when you play a British thing, uh, British game. However, we have now gained the national spirit, Edward VIII, which can which grants weekly stability minus 0 0.10, which basically means we got to keep our stability up because this dude's going to start ruining the British nation really fast, except he's not. Oh, yeah, and we have core with compliance on as well, so we can, like, start coring a bunch of territory. Yeah. Our, our territories will be uh, integrated and perfect and absolutely perfect. Um... Yes, Edward VIII, in the eyes of the British, and this is uh, completely true as well, uh, Edward VIII, in the eyes of the Br British um, nation at, in the times of uh, 1936, uh, they, he was not very popular. He did a lot of things that, um, you know, a lot of normal people did at that time, uh, as well as well as a lot as, as well as doing as a lot of things that people do still today, except. Uh, he acted like a normal person, basically, but he was a royal, so people expected him to do royal things. And he, he didn't do those royal things, uh, so he got kind of um, shunned. Uh, but we're not going to get him shunned this time. He's he's going to be perfectly fine uh, this time as well, because we're going to support his royal marriage with Wallace Simpson, which uh, forced him to abdicate in real history from um, Britain. So we are going to support his royal marriage, which, as which spoiler alert, is going to cause the Commonwealths to break their ties with us, declare independence, but not for long, because I have some good plans. They're they're not gonna they're not gonna be able to fight off their own. They're not gonna be fight. Off, <laughs> uh, the British Commonwealth is not gonna be able to fight off the British. That's just not how it works. And let's use. I think I'm gonna use. Um, this dude first, because he's got, like, some infiltration bonuses, I think, right? Yeah, infiltration and operative detection bonuses. Uh, yeah, they're they're gonna be fine. So, that, that should do it better. I should be able, as well, to pull out of the naval treaties, uh, before, um, they end. Oh boy, the remilitarization of the Rhineland. Okay, so Germany didn't go into a civil war, which means we're gonna have to fix them <laughs> eventually. They're eventually, of course, that we're gonna have to get pulled into a war with Germany, and uh, yeah, we're gonna have to fix up Germany as in install puppet regime or completely annex them, depending on what I feel like. They didn't go oppose uh, They. I'm not sure. Can you say that in Twitch? I'm sure you can say it on YouTube. It is history after all. They didn't do oppose current ruler of Germany. Uh, they they did Rhineland, which means uh, they're they're not going down the they're not going down the um they're not getting the good endings. What they're doing. Uh -huh. What else shall we do? Uh. We need to reinforce the Empire first up, but, uh, yes, Rein reinforce the Empire. We're not gonna, we're definitely not gonna decolonize our Empire. That's, it's not, it's, it, that's, it's, it's not gonna happen, basically. We're gonna reinforce the Empire. We're gonna make sure that everything goes well and perfect in our Breton. <laughs> Soon we'll be able to core Canadian territory as well, just a bunch of different territories, because the civilian oversight goes up really fast, and with core with compliance, you already have it at about 72, so it, we should be able to, like, just almost immediately core stuff. Uh... 
Oh, second London Naval uh, Treaty. Cool. Withdrawn. <laughs> okay, so now we no longer have, like, a, um... Just in case the United States de decides to take a little bit of a more, um... Offensive route, we can, uh... <laughs> We can attempt um, an, uh, to sign a non-aggression pact, because sometimes the U.S. will decide to um, fight you instead of doing nice things. I don't think they did it this time. When you withdraw from the naval treaty, sometimes they'll uh, take up arms against you. It doesn't look like they're doing it this time, though. That's, that's, that's cool. That's good. Uh, construction, please. Engineering, not going to be able to do uh, atom bombs so fast. Um, when are we going to be able to... Can, can I co start coring territory already with core with compliance? The core with compliance uh, mod. This be interesting. Yeah, Naval... London Naval Conference. Why would they restrict themselves like this? I have no idea. I'm pretty sure Japan pull, probably pulled out, too. Uh, something like that, at least. Um, we might... We may want to use police action in the British Raj if we can. I'm still not sure. They, it does. It does seem to be working fairly well, though. Uh, soon, soon we may be able to even use police action if uh, Edward VIII does not decide to um, marry really soon. But he he will obviously. But I'm not sure precisely when the event triggers. Imagine it triggers like just then. I'm gonna start uh, using. I'm just gonna start using the Dutch as a backdoor, and basically um, uh, getting more points to them. Oh, okay. Y there you go. The United States issues stern warning. Uh, a transparent, a transparent bluff. This, they never attack. They never attack. Kaiser Otto von Habsburg has returned to the head of a nation, by the way. Uh, the Austrian nation, apparently, as well. Uh, hi, um, USA. Do you want to maybe sign an aggression pact? Thank you. <laughs> so you're not going to be able to declare war on me that quickly, uh, mate. U.S. Congress passes Neutrality Act. Great. You, you, you decide to issue a stern warning to us, and then... It didn't. Good, because I was actually pretty freaked out that the United States was going to declare war on me or something at this early in game. But yeah, that that doesn't normally happen. But I'm I still get freaked out of it sometimes. Uh, Claude Auchinleck. We were we were we heard about Claude uh, the other day, right? Yeah. He fought in um in Africa. Oh oh, I wonder what this is. Edward VIII Abdication Crisis. Ahem. For some time, King Edward VIII has entertained hopes to marry the American Wallace Simpson. A constitutional crisis has now arisen as Mrs. Simpson is not only divorced from her previous husband, but, point, but in point of fact still married to her current husband pres presently pursuing a second divorce. General outrage has ensued on, on the ground that as king and being the head of the Church of England, Edward cannot marry a divorcee. The king, however, has made it abundantly clear that he's very much in love with Mrs. Simpson and intends to marry her regardless of the opinions of his government or his subjects. As such, only three options remain open to him. The British government and the governments of the Dominions have already stated that any alternative to abdication would be unacceptable, and repercussions of trying to force through a marriage even in attempted compromise would likely be dire not only for Britain itself but also for its ties to the Commonwealth. As the king's closest advisors continue their attempts to convince him, the public awaits with bated breath the resolution of this conflict between the king and his cabinet. Uh, basically, a compromise. Try to compromise. 
It, it never works, by the way. Spoiler alert, compromises never work uh, with this. But um, I do it anyways, because why not? Maybe, maybe someday it'll change and it'll be okay. Perhaps I can, like, take control of... Can I take control? Ha. Yes, I can. Guess what, Canada? We're gonna take control over all your... Over every single one of your divisions. And we're gonna disband every one of them. Ahem. Did that work? No? Give give me back control of of the of these. I, I I ordered. Does this one just go right back if I order it to disband? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it just goes right back. Cool. Uh. All right. Um. Wonder if we could send them to Brazil. <laughs> I might be able to. Actually, I'm not even kidding. I might even be able to. Yeah, I could actually probably send those Canadian troops to Brazil. But, I'm not going to. Bulgarian government supports the M I IMRO. Wow! We're all making very, um... World tension decisions here, aren't we, Bulgaria? Prime Minister restricts King. In fear of the King making a public radio statement... We've given too much support among the people. Prime Minister Stanley Baldwin has now refused to allow this. Not able to go against his prime minister in this matter, the king has no choice but to keep his side of the story for himself for the time being. It's head to the highest echelons of whatever. I don't care. Just get the king in office already. Monarchism. Ahem. I need to save up political power, because, like, the political power is about to just... My gosh. We are... <laughs> oh, my gosh. Normally, some of these some of these ones just, like, it's okay. And, like, people start, pe people start believing in the king a little bit more. But right now... <laughs> right now, we're going through a crisis where... Yo, okay! Well, one mod is at least helping us here. What? Well, at least one mod's still helping us here. Uh, the Irish Free State has confirmed ties to the Commonwealth. The Irish ambassador has approached us to officially confirm that the following electoral vi the Fine Gal over the Fianna Fall uh, fail uh, fail fail fail. <laughs> the Irish Free State has moved back towards alignment with the Commonwealth and formally has joined us once more as a Dominion. Okay, uh, is 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 the Irish Free State gonna break off then? Um, I wonder if the Irish Free State's gonna break away from the Dominion then. Uh, yeah, once the abdication crisis goes down, or if perhaps maybe the Irish decide to stay and we don't lose we we at least. They don't lose all our dominions, right? Right? Okay. We definitely need... Okay, uh, yeah, encourage colonial elite, I think, right? Can we get general Yara? No, it has to be more than 10 world tension. Uh, I'm gonna do change in course as well, because <laughs> we obviously need a change in course to help help our um, current situation. Ooh, the Germans actually are trying. Uh, support forms! Nice! 
Though isolated from the main political parties, their names nonetheless carry weight. Churchill, Mosley, and Lloyd George. Not Lloyd George, but Lloyd George. Great. Churchill and Mosley. That's, that's an odd, isolated... Yeah. Grouping of unlikely political allies. I'm pretty certain that that's nationalism, democracy, and communism. I'm not certain what David Lloyd George is, but yeah. You need to find traction among the people. Yeah, first, this grouping of unlikely political allies. Great. Oh boy, that was that was a freak out real quick. This should work though. I think I think this is going to be we're going to be all right. Don't know why Percy Moresby is still in charge of the non-aligned party. Yeah, changing in course. It is beginning. The games of the eleventh Olymp uh, uh, Olympics. Nice. Edward the Eighth holds radio speech. Great. Good job. Good job, Edward. You're getting you're getting political uh, help now. Okay. Current focuses democratic, 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 democratic. Um, oh, we need some of this and we can do that. Okay, this is cool. Yeah, we can do all of, we can do both of these and our elusive gentleman as well. So there we go. Uh, we can't do the king's party yet, but once uh, Edward marries, we can. So that, that'll be great. We got this. Okay. Colonial Elite, first up. Let's start setting... Yeah, we've only got two dockyards right now. Uh, we've only got two um, planes uh, generating right now, which I'm going to have to increase later. But right now, all I'm going to focus on is my naval supremacy. Because for some of these things, like, I don't know, like Australia, I'm going to need... Oh, no, the newspapers are Pose. Yes, uh, basically... We're going to have to use, I think, Fiji for one, uh, in order to take New Zealand. Well, we already own Fiji, but ki kind of. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going, is I'm going, uh, once the Dominions break with the crown, because they will break with the crown once Edward uh, marries Wall Simpson, and I put in the monarchist government, basically what's going to happen is that I'm going to, um, use Fiji, I think, as a way to ally the imperialist uprising in New Zealand once I start that, and use that to fight um, and take New Zealand. And technically, yeah, and so a puppet state. And then once that's happened, I will then uh, use New Zealand instead of Fiji as a way to get across to Australia it should be, we should, uh, it, it, this plan, it'll, the plan will work. The other thing is, is that I need to be able to launch a naval invasion into South Africa. Here's the thing. I own a lot of territory in South Africa's borders already, so I'm going to need to line up that. But the thing is, is that South Africa does not, uh, it has a really strong military, and I'm not going to be able to hold off a lot against it. So that's why I'm immediately going to need to uh, use naval invasions to take south africa straight away okay the cabinet has resigned okay basically this is not good fallen government okay so we have a 
not not good government right now. There's nobody in the government. Um, when when when's Edward gonna marry? When's the date? When is when's the date? Okay. Oh my gosh, it's a 87 day. Oh boy, we're gonna have to stay like this. We're we're got a weak state right now. Okay, cool. Belgium seeks to join the Allies. Absolutely, Belgium. Join early. Good work. Um, Archduchy of Austria. Okay, well, Austrian Austro-Hungarian Empire might reform as well. That's fine with me. I'll be absolutely chill with that. I can perhaps yes the newspaper supposed the marriage we know already ahem I can um perhaps use Belgium as a way to um get into maybe the Netherlands use Belgium as a way to get into the Netherlands and um either annex or puppet the Netherlands so I can get uh, a station there what else we got? Yeah, let's help the cruisers. Actually, no, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna help the, cru the cruisers. I'm gonna start a new um, dockyard as well. I think I'm gonna use. Gonna use. Yeah, I'm gonna put a destroyer class. Yes. Okay. Whoa. Okay. We got a bunch of different stuff now. Okay. The newspapers have opposed the marriage. Yes, we know. Again, they did. Bulgaria pressures to lift their army restrictions. We, we, uh, and delegation has arrived in London with the aim of pressuring. Hmm. We won't give in to threats. We're, I, I don't want another powerful state arising in the Balkans, because that powerful state's going to be me. <laughs> Dominican the Dominicans Dominions break with the crown. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. We'll 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 take we'll 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 have you back. You'll come back to us soon enough. Canada and everybody. I have plans. I have big plans for you. <laughs> Imperialist plans for you. Ahem. 47 days till um, the marriage. Great. Perfect. That means we won't have to use this as much as we can. Uh, we won't have to uh, use this much longer. Perhaps I should fortify like East Asia or something now. Just while I can. Um... Cool thing is, though, I don't lose all my puppet states, I don't think at least. British Malaya stays loyal, and so does the Irish Free State, because that's a mod, an awesome mod. Because I keep, I keep my Ireland now, so, yay. Yes, I'm going to have a much power, a, a large and powerful navy soon. Uh, hoo -hoo -hoo. good, 28 days left. Royal marriage, 26, 25, cool. Upper classes oppose the marriage. <laughs> Here we are, continue. I would fortify East Asia, but I know it's just happening way too soon. Here we go, three days. I can't believe I've still managed to, like, just stay, like, continue to, um, mobilize troops. I mobilized them over here, because normally you take over Ireland, but they became loyal to us. So I'm not actually sure what I'm going to do when that focus comes up to take Ireland. Maybe I'll just an end up annexing them through, um, through the, uh, through, like, building on their land or something. 
that that might be a better shot or Okay, actually, yeah, let's do that right now <laughs> as the marriage progresses. Let's just build a naval dockyard using I using Ireland because I'm not gonna use up all my building materials yet. Royal marriage. At long last, the joyous date for the royal marriage has arrived. Crowds have gathered in the thousands all along the route traveled by the couple from Buckingham Palace to Westminster Abbey. Domestic resistance to the marriage has increased, uh, has increasingly showed its impotence through symbolic uh, re resignations and other vain protests, and now all seems all but silence. The last such act was the retirement of the Archbishop of Canterbury, Cosmo Lang, and his subs subsequent replacement with an individual more amenable to the king's wishes. Well, yeah, I mean, we're trying to put him in power after all. In the face of the political turmoil this crisis has caused, the celebrations now ongoing are deeply necessary in returning a semblance of normalcy, normalcy to public affairs, and as a starting point from which to resolve the present political issues. Phew, okay. We're starting to do it now. Let's d immediately... It's the king's party. It's, the ti it's time for the king's party. Uh... Straight away. I can't build a naval dockyard in a foreign territory, but they're a dominion. <laughs> they're my dominion, right? Can I... Cannot declare wars, cannot decline call to war. Oh, okay. Guess I might need to lower them a little bit more for that. Okay. Uh, we'll... Pause that uh, for a little bit. Uh, here, another unassigned division? We're already ready with another? No? No? Okay. Well then, why'd it show up? Ahem. Oh, you're right, actually, why am I just, like, going, why, why can't I build anything over here? I can build a bunch of stuff over here. I can use my, my colony, I have so many colonies. What was I thinking? I can just build them all over here. Especially in like Hong Kong? No? One there's only one in Hong Kong? That'd be interesting. Does Fiji have a a, a, a naval dockyard? It does. Cool. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. At least, however, we can use these, perhaps. Um Ah, there we go. King's Party's focus is almost done already. Uh, <laughs> the Dutch are slowly tilting towards something uh, else, which is interesting. I'm not not we're not gonna have that happen. Uh, at least I don't think so yet. Let's build a naval base in Kuwait here. Dockyards. Put another towards the Gallant. HMS Gallant. Gallant? Gallant? I'm not sure. It's just it's Gallant, so I'm not perfectly certain. Uh, let's see. Uh, this Decimetric radar. Oh boy, don't crash. Please don't crash. The Irish Free State declared war on what the heck? The Irish Free State's declared war on what now? Okay, guess we did need those divisions after all. Uh, because we're about to help out the Irish Free State in defeating uh, Free Ireland, apparently, because uh, th that ain't happening. I'm not. Deploy. Deploy. Deploy the navy immediately. I mean, deploy the army immediately. There's, there is a difference. <laughs> what was I thinking? And yes, there's a very clear difference here. So I'm going to, 
uh, quite quickly now, quite quickly. Uh, I only have Colonial Garrison, so I really hope I don't lose North Ireland by trying to do this. Yes, take Galway, please take Galway. C capitulate Free Ireland for me, because uh, I don't want to lose any of my British civilians in your war over there, Ireland. I, I, but I might have to. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my best. Hey, King's Party! Edward VIII empowers the King's Party. Following the royal marriage between King Edward VIII and Wallace Simpson, the King has now appointed the leaders of the newly formed pro-monarchist King's Party, Winston Churchill, Oswald Mosley, and David Lloyd George to form a new government after the nation's extended period without one. Supporters of Edward VIII applaud the formation of a loyal government, but critics point out that the new government is so supportive of the King's wishes that we might as well consider the King to be de facto an absolutist monarch. Well, at least I'll be a good absolutist monarch. I mean, okay, immediately we're going to do God Save the King as well as a focus because, uh, yeah, the political power game does, gain does not look cool right now, so that's what we're going to have to do. The fate of Ireland hangs in the balance of the Civil War over here. Um, uh, so if they start looking like they're not going to win... Why is Nationalist Spain wanting docking rights from me? Uh, oh, it's because they're losing. Sure. <laughs> Why not? We'll, we'll, um, we'll, we'll help the Nationalist Spains, Spanish, I suppose. They're going to lose anyways, so I, I, I might as well just look nice. Okay, do you want help with your wars now? During a civil war, world tension must be at least 50% right now, so at least three. Okay, so that's why they didn't invite me to the civil war already. That's okay, because that means that basically, uh, uh, they're, I think they're winning. They're going to be winning. It doesn't look like they're winning right now, but yeah, they're, uh, our, our Ireland is winning. At least, I hope so. If I could, I'd help them. Um, but I, I don't think I can right now. Okay, the King's Party is working out very well uh, so far. I'm going to... Oh, I can't demand incre increased Dutch trade anymore with us, because I'm not democratic, but that's okay. Um... We're going to create the North American section because we're going to need that. I have a plan. It's a very, 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 very large plan, so I sure hope that it works. Ahem. Yes, I still believe. Oh, oh no. India's having Pakistan problems. That's so sad, India. Maybe if you'd stayed a Dominion, you could have ignored those. <laughs> Ahem. Sudanese colonials. Okay. Let's see what else we can do. Um, I'm gonna start using Spy Masters to do this. Um, hmm. What else can we do? Can we at all core territory right now? Where did our core with compliance go? Oh, our core with compliance went massively down. The Hindenburg disaster happened, the Chinese Zion front formed. Is are they at war now? The cost of fifty to become spy master. You need to be in a faction to become a spy master. Wait, what? We we need to what? We need to what now? Aren't we? Are we not in a faction? Uh, Ireland. It, it's time to create a faction. Oh wait, no. 
Okay, I need I need uh, forty right now. And what about British Malaya? Is we're gonna be able to start a coup and we're gonna be able to start the um, dictatorship in British Malaya? I suppose. I, I suppose. Suppose I can. Um, Okay, so we completed God Save the King, which is fine. Um, Imperial Loyalists, War to End All Wars. That's cool. Because if we can end the War to End All Wars, then we're going to be able to... Um, Recruit a lot more people a lot faster. So that's going to be great for our um, war support here. Cool. Looks like our Ireland is currently winning the Civil War still. Um, communism will not take hold. And uh, we will still have our dominion. Which is great. Absolutely great. We need our we need our dominion. I mean, if we didn't if it didn't win, that would still be okay, I suppose. But we definitely need our dominion. Oh, all right, what else do we got? Well, the first thing we got is Canada. Canada. Canada will be a very, very big thing to take. We need to take Canada uh, straight away. As soon as we can. Um, Harold Alexander. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, Harold Alexander, please. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna increase, I'm gonna add some production stuff. Hey, Treaty of Galloway. Nice. Our Ireland is now secure, finally. Oh wow, the Hindenburg went down and Amelia Earhart disappeared. That's sad. It's almost true. By almost, I mean, unfortunately, it is. Ahem. 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 Ah. We have almost reassessed our colonial commitments. Hmm. Within five days, uh, Marco Polo in bridge in 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 incident has just occurred. Um, China is looking pretty fine right now. They look okay, at least. Uh, yes, China, you can indeed uh, resupply the ships and the ports there. That's perfect. It's fine with me. You can isolate the Mediterranean. Um, threat. Yes, we... We're gonna be able to puppet Italy, actually. That would be an interesting thing. Uh, yeah, can we send our divisions to go help? Sovereign states cannot send volunteers to anarchists. I mean, I think they can. They did, didn't they? But, okay, I'll just try and... Can I start a Lend-Lease or something? At least I can start a Lend-Lease, maybe. Um, here, have the old rifles, have our old rifles, uh,
Yep, there, I'm gonna give them our old rifles and some of our fuel. Regional Defense, we're trying, we're, we will definitely try and help the Regional Defense Council win this one. I'm still not certain if, uh, if they will, they normally don't. But they did spawn in with a couple extra cities this time. Um, even so as, uh, much as, um, getting sent in with, I'm losing my focus here as I set up a possible attack route. Malta Command and everything else, though, these are all um, things we're going to need to be, to utilize in case we want our attack here. Because if we did set up an Italian puppet and use Italy as well, we could possibly make sure, um, make certain that we get a good alliance going, um, and good military aid. Because even as a puppet state, it would help a lot. Recruitment in North America. Cool, now we can recruit um, Canadian. Continue doing military parades in um, British Malaya. We must have them, we must have them use their stability. Their stability will be permanent. The only thing I worry about with Canada is that if I ally imperialist loyalists in Canada and declare war on normal uh, Canada with them, I'm just afraid the United States might get involved with that. So that's kind of worrying, but we'll we'll ignore that for now because it's not going to happen yet. Um, is is our is our uh, is our empire doing okay? I, I, I wonder if our empire is doing fine. <laughs> um, Sinking Can Canada mainly. I want to know how Canada is doing. Canada seems to be doing just fine. Okay, it looks like the, the Regional Defense Council was doing well, and, and then they took, uh, and then the Republicans took Barcelona, so that might be okay. Great, German Reich has, <laughs> okay, now, now, here we go. I don't want to join the Axis, though. I don't want to join the Axis whatsoever. We'll sign a non-interference. Uh, but first we're going to have to appeal, I think we're going to appeal, um, to the loyalists, so perhaps we could do something else, I wonder. Uh, oh, the shadow scheme. Uh, the shadow scheme is interesting. Uh, general Yarman, Arman, 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 Armin 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 uh, so far? Yes. Yes, they have. Let's get some of our ships to go establish naval dominance. 
I don't. It's it's going to be kind of uh, hard to do so. I think. Um, but we'll we'll get we'll get it done. Are they going to it? Or not? They're not yet, which is kind of annoying. Come on, move to Malta. You guys as well. Naval invasion support, this and this. Well, that was pretty easy to establish naval dominance that quickly. I mean, wow. That that didn't even we didn't even, we we didn't even have to put up a fight with that. Okay. I thought like I thought like Mussolini's navy was supposed to be like the best in the world or something. But hey. I I'm not okay, Italy just announced a claim on Yugoslavian territory, which is fine cuz that means they don't see uh a certain uh country coming to go get them. Um, I'm gonna put up a radar station and especially some coastal forts, um, here. We need to see what's going over there. The Montrose Conservation. President Mustafa Kemal Ataturk has informed us that Turkey is preparing to remilitarize the Turkish Straits. The Turks government would like us to back their claims over the territorial waters and, all, and to alter the Treaty of Lus Las Lausanne to give them the legitimacy to keep those claims. Back in the Turkish claims of the Turkish Straits will surely ingratiate them to us, and it could open up the possibility of Turkey being able to contest Italy in the Mediterranean. However, getting mired in this crisis might also place us on the opposite sides of the Soviet Union, which could mean war in the worst-case scenario. We will be backing ourselves on the Turkish, and we will be pulling out of that Turkish if the uh, Soviets happen to... Okay, great. They, they managed to do it. Cool. They managed to do it completely. Great. I, I, was, I was pretty darn scared there that I was going to have to enter a war with the Soviets, but that didn't happen, and that's all for the best, because I was not looking forward to that one. I should be able to send a tank brigade in as well, um, and perhaps even if I manage to get landing craft, although they are supposed to be here maybe 1939, and it's 1937 right now, I'm gonna bet that it's just not, yeah. These, these guys, I don't think Italy's ready for it, but they will send armies immediately once I take Palermo. Um... I also want to see if maybe they have anything over there, so I'm going to use my radar stations in order to, um... This is getting complicated. It's a Carlist Uprising now. Carlist Uprising. Where? Yeah, basically Repub the Republic in Spain has absolutely everything uh, right now, so they seem to be winning. Yeah. Okay, we also have some planes over in Malta ready to be uh, deployed when I can. Um, recruitable 3,000 each month. That's, uh, that's awesome. That's, that's awesome. Okay. Um... Because it just takes 6,000 to do this, so I wonder if maybe I can just stop my colonial garrison and start training infantry divisions. I think I should be able to. Yeah, I'm going to say I'm going to be able to. Cool. That that's, that's great. Okay, so now that I can train infantry divisions instead of colonial divisions, it's going to increase my damage and stuff. Just awesome by an awesome amount. Uh, generary armaments done. Ar 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 arma, arma, arma. Arma meant. Thank you. <laughs> um, hmm.
Well, I can use navalry armaments, um, but I could also use, yeah, I'm going to start using, like, Mediterranean Bastion, because that could help a lot. Another thing that I need to do that I immediately forgot about here is start arming up my ter my territory against uh, Italy's territories in the um, north. There will be no Rommel to help them this time. Um, I'm going for Harold Alexander right now. I think that might be our best bet. However, there are a couple of different random ones. You know what? I might just go Miles Dempsey. Yeah, I think I'm going to go Miles Dempsey, actually. Um, assign the four divisions over there to his uh, direction. Um, pull out all of our divisions from over there, that's fine. And and even um, uh, Yemen as well. We definitely need to be able to capitulate um, East Africa, the Italian East Africa, so we're going to need to use a Jock Tempo. Cool. There. Um, it's, it's a start of a, it's a start of being able to take, um, Italy's uh, colonial empire down because I think this is our plan this is gonna be our first conquest because if we can manage this it's gonna be a massive help what's this why is there why is there a troop coming from over where oh oh I see over there I, okay they're going through that way Are people here? No? Okay, then why was it called? Why was I called? Zog has submitted to Italy. That's... Horrible, but at least we'll gain another puppet state out of that, because we're going to get make... Uh, we're going to end up making Albania and a dominion, I, I bet, so... How's chat looking, by the way? Uh, Germanic. British. Ireland go back to Britain. It did. Britain go uh, fascist later on. I, I, yeah, nah. Uh, uh, well, in this game, you can't really swap between, like, ideologies. I mean, you can, but it, uh, it, it'd be kind of hard um, once I've already chosen the monarchist path, which I have. So, um, uh, probably not going fascist... Although I am an absolute monarch and I am doing deals with uh, the German uh, Reich at the current moment. Um, but I think we should be okay. Division speed. We might need to make some... We might need to go speedy so that we can like... Yeah, I'm going to actually use the division maneuvers. I never tried using speed instead of attack or defense. But I think we might. that might be our best bet here. Because once I attack, I'm going to need to like zoom up Sicily. <laughs> so, it's going to be very uh, interesting. Stalinist victory in the Spanish Civil War. Well, that's not horrifying. I, uh, seems like, uh, yeah, they're, they, they seem to be a very uh, puppet state. Miles Dempsey falls ill. Well, Miles Dempsey, you're going to have to get over that and start, like, you know, starting to um, understand the desert here. Um, wow, Italy has a really good, like... Um, Compliance. I wish I had a really good compliance in my colonies. <laughs> I don't. Ahem. Italian East Africa. Here we go. So, for for our attack on Italian East Africa, we're going to need to ignore the fact that it says that it's in the red and probably not going to work. Um, and we're going to completely ignore that and say that, yeah, it's an inferior enemy, so it's going to be able to do this. Salamonic Dynasty, Fascist, Hail Selassie. Why is Hail Selassie in power and also still a... Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting. Hail Selassie's in power still, at least, but... Uh, it's not the power we thought he would be in. 
Ahem. 47 days estimated till the next infantry division start rolling in. We need another radar station over there and possibly naval dockyards. Uh, more naval. More naval dockyards! We need as many naval dockyards as we possibly can right now. Strike land tungsten mines, absolutely. More military parades in British Malaya. If we can get them up, if we can get this pop, this party's popularity up to sixty, we can make sure that uh, British Malaya has a um, Uh, just they, they they become a little bit more um, two hours uh, to our power. We need to sign that non-interference uh, treaty with Germany so that I'm that close to taking out the Regia Marina and owning the Regia Marina. By the way, um, because we will need that, we will need the help of the Italians really soon. Um, 37% towards this. What else? Let's hide moving capital decisions so I... There we go. Uh, create... Let's create the... The Asian section here of the... Of our branch. your enemy okay well there's still we're still looking okay for these for these attacks that we're presuming are gonna be well they seem to they seem to have a good chance of uh, of working however nobody can ever tell so we're gonna have to see. Seems like our tank brigade and our infantry brigade will be um, spawning here shortly, and then we can deploy them to go join um, Claude Auchinleck's army in the south, uh, in Malta, where we will deploy into Palermo and hopefully manage to capture Rome, instead of going uh, north to south, we'll go south to north, as we did, uh, as we as we did in, in real life. They did that actual in actuality in real life. Um, Hearts of Iron Four, they always tend to like go from the north down to the south. It's going to be an interesting fight, that's for sure. But again, it should work. What? Why did the Seventh Infantry Division join that one? I I told it to join that Claude Auchinleck, didn't I? Oh, stop going all the way down there! You're just gonna have to redeploy. Oh wait, we have a Mediterranean fleet as well. I didn't know that. That's okay with me. We can use that to assign some. More naval supremacy, I suppose. Or at least... Yeah, or at least patrol the Mediterranean. Uh, the, East, the Eastern Mediterranean Sea, that is. Germanic accepts non-interference. Good. Uh, our, our plan can now be set in motion as soon as we wish it to be. Fortify Malta as well. 
um, before we do this, we must fortify Malta. What is this? Our recruitable population went from like 3,000 to 1,000 really quickly, and I'm wondering why that is. It seems to be regaining itself, but I don't know. Anglo-German Pact. Hmm. Wait, it says the German Reich has strategic reasons to be hostile to Great Britain, and therefore it's okay with me joining its faction? I... okay. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense to me, but who cares, I suppose. Uh, there we go, there's our tank division as well. Uh, Claude Aachen lacks power of division will now be able to be done. Um, decisive battle, expert, not really, um, reliability, material designer, weapons, uh, military high command, we definitely need military high commands, my goodness, uh, yes, infantry, please, uh, Kenneth, Kenneth, Kenneth Arnold, Anderson, sorry, Kenneth Anderson, Anderson? Anderson will be helping our infantry here, so that's going to help. We're also currently deciphering Italy's um, code right now. After Malta is done, we should be able to enter our first our our first uh, war. Uh, yeah, there we go. Ten divisions. Any more divisions that end up coming out before we get them in, before we uh, get anything else, will probably end up going towards the war effort in Libya, since it seems like Miles Dempsey might just be woefully underprepared. Because I just feel like that. There's only one Italian division on the border, and we have four, but I just, I still feel like there's, there's going to be like ten like back here, and we're going to get our our colonial empire in Africa just absolutely wrecked. So I'm worried I'm definitely worried about that, so I'm 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 wary. How much is British Malaya at the point now? It's it's almost there, but it's still not working. Okay, it looks like compliance is still heading up. Which is great, because soon we'll be able to core it and have more core territories to use. Mussolini does not know what's coming. I feel like I should give it some time. Yeah, it is a puppet. It's a puppet uh, focus, at least, uh, to take out the Reggio Marina. Um, they're going to know I'm justifying against them, I think. But even if they will, I think my naval supremacy, including the uh, HMS Hood, I think, I think it should work, so we should be all right. should be all right indeed oh there's a collaboration governments there's all those collaboration government notifications which means that all my core with compliance has finally gone up enough to show uh, which means that I'll be able to get 20 more percent uh, in this perhaps giving me a little bit of an extra boost um, but probably not before I do this Yep, we're justifying it right now. Miles Dempsey seems to be able to maybe just get a little bit of extra support, uh, considering our infantry division will be soon deploying 
um, towards him. There you are, Dempsey. Ooh! Yeah, and that, my friends, that, my friends, is per <laughs> Oh, boy. Yes, this, this, my friends, is why we sent uh, aid to Miles Dempsey, because I believe he's about to have a large, large problem uh, fighting that war in Africa, because there are multiple Italian troops now mobilizing. Um, yeah. Should we cancel the focus? Should we cancel the focus? Because I feel like we might be underprepared for the war with Italy at this point. Because on one hand, puppeting them could be really useful, but on the other, I prefer not to lose my colonial empire if I do lose. And it kind of seems like losing right now might be incredibly likely. Um, because there's a lot of Italian divisions now flooding over East Africa. I have a direct naval invasion, though. Um, I think I'm gonna save my game real quick, and then, like, once, once the, uh, once the attack occurs, we'll see how it plays out, and if it doesn't play out well, then we'll reverse it, cancel the focus, and we'll be fine, so... We'll save it to that as a file name. I did save it, correct? Yes. Great. Yo, country, whoa! The Irish Free State is apparently... Wow, they are going up with wanting, um... Their freedom. It's for docking rights? You don't need docking rights, you're fighting Czechoslovakia, Germany. Docking rights. Perhaps we can ask the Axis to help us, though. Here we go. Okay, so this 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 could work. This might this might work. This might not work. Uh, whichever way, it it should be okay. Um. Even if it doesn't work, we'll be we'll 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 be able to reverse it and be all right. So, uh, here we go. We're gonna start uh, Imperial Loyalists as well as <laughs> doing this. Yeah, these guys say that they have a superior enemy, and I don't doubt it. Yeah, we just immediately started losing there. Yeah, we immediately started losing there as well. Our only hope right now at this point, because I don't think we're going to be able to win our... What the heck was that? Yo! What happened to our naval uh, force over there? Um, buddy? Uh... Oh, I see. Uh, their pride of the fleet hit and couldn't establish naval supremacy enough to do that. Okay, well that's fine. Oh yeah, they are rushing they are rushing to get down there. <laughs> Won't happen in time though. Cool, 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 cool. We got this. We got this now. We have this now. Uh at least we have this for now. I'm not precisely certain for how long we shall have this. Uh but we'll have it for a good enough time, I think.
enough, at least, to successfully occupy... Um... Oh, yes. Congratulations, you took Cairo. However, you can't hold our entrepreneur... Yes, you can charter. Sure. Sure, Greece. Come on. We can take Mess Messinia. Uh, we might be able to. Uh, oh boy. No, I don't think I don't think this uh, this attack went as planned. We may need to take the Commonwealth back first before um, this plan goes. Because we managed to occupy this, we managed to occupy Sicily at least. But I don't think we're going to be able to manage to occupy much else. However, I do think that there is a strong possibility of um, of another plan. Perhaps if we take Malta first and use Miles Dempsey and uh, Jock Campo, uh, leave leave all of this unguarded because we're going to lose it anyway. We're going to lose that battle anyways. Uh, send these over here, and once we uh, occupy Palermo, they'll send a bunch of troops down here, and then we might be able to send a naval invasion to Rome and Naples so that we can uh, take down the fast, the biggest cities first and capitulate them fast. It sounds like a solid plan, but I'm not sure. However, that requires going back to the last save, and for you, waiting until tomorrow, because... I'm starting to get a sore throat from all this talking. So, <laughs> I think that's going to end the video and stream today. Uh, and I will continue this um, tomorrow, or later or tomorrow, probably tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I will uh, be seeing you all in the next one. Goodbye.